So next we have Jeder Vodopivek Tomasic. Jeder is a retired professor from the University of Ljubljana in Slovenia. She taught preservation of written heritage and also taught at the Alma Mater Europea ECM in Slovenia. She was head of book and paper conservation department at the archives of the Republic of Slovenia from 1990 until recently. She obtained her bachelor's and master's degrees in chemistry science and a PhD in conservation science at the University of Ljubljana. She has authored national and international papers, organized conferences, seminars, and workshops on conservation of the written and graphic cultural heritage, and is collaborating in research projects on book and paper conservation. For the volume, she contributed with an essay on Christopher Clarkson and teaching, book conservation staff training in Ljubljana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction and uh, thank you for a very uh, nice public that we have <laughs> in this in this uh, Zoom conference. Is really it it is uh, much easier to join than uh, before, and we can have much more visitors or uh, participants now. So my contribution well, is presenting Chris Clarkson as teacher and his teaching and especially his teaching in the National Archives of Slovenia. Uh, the next is, maybe if I go, yeah, the next slide, how, uh, Rhea can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, maybe. Uh, so, as Professor um, Nicholas Pickwood already um, said, that for Chris was really very important he, the experience he had in Florence, where he was a member of the first team of conservators who came to uh, to to, to, the, uh, to Florence in '67, and uh, this uh, next one. Mm. And this Florence, Florence experience uh, was something which was really um, important for his career. Um, he was uh, he developed uh, his awareness of historical binding structures, and he was questioning why some of the bindings had survived intact and why other types had not. This gave him an interest in the history of the structures and fun uh, functional properties of the book binding. And this was something which was really um, the point. So next one, please. Um, so in the 60s and 70s, uh, he started a new so-called new discipline of book conserv conservation. And he changed the the old way of conservation, of book conservation, uh, in completely, completely. So um, he stopped with this 19th and 20th century trade book binding practice in conservation. Of course, not at that time in every country, but slowly, I think that until today, this event, this uh, the, this fact. Uh, is nearly in every conservation lab of book conservation. No? Okay, next one. In his long career, uh, Chris devoted himself to the study of book conservation and he uh, is author of a long list of um, fundamental book conservation articles, book conservation innovations and book conservation teaching. Next one. Due to his vast book conservation knowledge and his teaching talent, he was frequently engaged by, engaged, uh, by cultural institutions uh, and conservation centers to increase their knowledge about book, book conservation. Next one, please. And uh, he gave lectures and workshops around the world and also in Slovenia. Maybe some of you don't know this big country which is here. 
in this area, uh, close to Italy, Austria, Hungary, and Croatia. So we, we invited him, next one, um, we invited him in the National Archives of Ljubljana uh, um, 10 times from 96 to 2010. Uh, next one. Yeah, uh, Chris was Chris remarkable knowledge, extensive experience and his own engineering and surgical approach to the field of book conservation and preservation were unique. I'm showing all the photos that I'm showing here are all from our workshops. So this was one work on a medieval manuscript. Really, I think that he was doing <laughs> really surgical approach, surgical uh, treatment. Yeah, next one. And uh, throughout all his career, Chris uh, successfully transmitted important book conservation philosophy philosophy is based on the understanding of material science and book engineering techniques. I was always saying that he is a book engineer, no, not a book designer. <laughs> okay, next one. Um, uh, however, his main contribution was uh, uh, undoubtedly that of abandoning the rebinding practice based on bookbinding tradition until the 20th century uh, in favor to expertise and scientifically grounded principles of modern book conservation. Next one. Uh, Chris was really an, a dedicated tutor and his teaching, innovations, and numerous publications have a profound effect on understanding the book structure. Next one. Uh, the first meeting, I mean, the first, um, yeah, um, first time he was in, in Slovenia uh, was during the conference in 96 and he prepared the, uh, the paper, presented the paper book, book uh, the safe handling and display of medieval manuscripts and early printed books. Uh, I think this was also some very important uh, article uh, of his list. Uh, and during this symposia, because my intention was not to organize just a symposia, but I, my intention was organizing workshops with, um, with him. So I, was, I asked him at that time and he immediately agreed that he will come also ne the next year. So next slide. In 97, 97 he, uh, he gave us the first uh, workshop uh, and this was about late medieval stiff board binding construction. But um, uh, this was a small group. Uh, we started just colleagues from the archives, conservation uh, department of the archives and conservation department of the national library. Uh, so we, are, we were not that many. Uh, at the first workshop, but always uh, during the workshop, the workshop, there was also a public lecture in the University of, uh, Faculty of Arts, uh, University of Ljubljana. Uh, this was organized by Professor Natasha Golob. And during this first visit, uh, he also had an interview on the Radio of Slovenia. And you will have the contribution of the colleague Micha Zor, who was the um, interview in, who made this interview with Chris, Chris Clarkson later, uh, and it is also published in, in this um, um, special issue. Uh, and uh, also this um, interview was transcripted in and published in Slovene. Uh, in the, our publication, Arch Arch Archivi. 
And we always had also a visit somewhere. So this is the first time we visited the National University Library and the archives of the Republic of Slovenia. Uh, next one, please. The second uh, workshop was about limp vellum bindings. Now this was something he really liked and he was uh, fascinated. And also we all were then fascinated by this type of bindings. Uh, so, and during this workshop, uh, we had also a public lecture and also a visit to the Kamnik uh, monastery, the Franciscan monastery to, to see the library and also another small library nearby. So next one. And, um, as Professor um, Pickwood already said that it was the Florence time that uh, during the Florence time and after the Florence time that Clarkson uh, started to research on limb vellum bindings now and he was really fascinated by this structure and he he also uh, made a wrote a detailed study you probably all know but I, I think it's it should be mentioned also here no? about lymph vellum uh, binding. So uh, we also examined uh, the parchment and all what, what is really necessary to the material part of the, uh, of the, all, the materials that were used and all details. No? Okay, next one. Uh, the next uh, workshop was about minimum conservation interventions and treatment of parchment and books. And uh, the, the photo on the front of the publication of Yada publication is Chris during that workshop. Uh, yeah, and um, so here was also the public lecture um, uh, in the in Faculty of Arts. And then we also had all interviews on TV or on, on radio or in the newspapers or also something, some small uh, presentations on TV. So this time in 99, there was a, um, an interview with him in, in, a, in a newspaper. Uh, and then we, uh -huh, this time we visited a small parish library, uh, library and archives near Postojna. I don't know if you know where it is, a small one. So that um, he was look, he he has and um, he wanted to to know all types of archives and libraries that exist in in some country. You know? Next one. In 2000, uh, we had um, uh, a workshop about, a workshop, workshop about housing and mounting single parchment membranes and, uh, and so on. So you can see this, I, I, uh, I heard the ring, so I would speed up a little. So uh, then the next one in 2002 was about uh, the workshop about albums and uh, scrapbooks and spacement uh, books and guard books. This was also very interesting and very useful um, um, workshop. Next one. And then uh, in 2003, we had another conference where he participated with, uh, with, uh, with the paper. The next one. In 2000, uh, five, we had a, a workshop on two, on the manuscript and in Cunabula. And uh, of course, we have this public lecture and uh, visits and also an interview on the TV of Slovenia. And uh, from next one, and 2008, we repeated limp and semi-limp vellum and paper bindings. And this occasion, we have also Jacques Brigeot for three days in Slovenia. Uh, and he gave lectures and demonstrations about uh, paper, um, paper making. And also we visited um, 
a parchment maker, Marian Petac, nearby Ljubljana. Uh, an interesting, really, workshop. And the last one, next one, please. The, the last one was in 2010. Uh, we repeated the first workshop, more or less, no? with a lot of uh, knowledge that we had in this um, nearly 10 years. So uh, I think those, this one, that this one and the previous one were really um, um, some, um, also in, uh, the group was participants, they were much more participants, international participants and, and also more experienced. So really um, we were all very happy with with this, um, and they wanted a participant asked me to organize more courses, but I saw that Chris was really, he was, I think that nearly something more than 70, yeah, yeah. So he was, uh, it was really heavy for him to travel and to, or to stay 14 days. And I said that we will stop with this. And uh, I mean, fortunately, I, we, we had to stop. And I think that also all the participants has enough, enough knowledge. So uh, some of our students in Slovenia, they started also to have small uh, courses to organize and disseminate his knowledge. Next one. Uh, maybe just for the finish, we have to... To, to say again what Nicholas Pickwood wrote, all these revolu revolutionary approaches uh, which are taken from granted by the younger generations, this is all Clark, Chris Clark's on research and practice. Okay, next one, just thanks to Chris and to all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love that picture that you had of Chris pointing at the sewing and uh, well, he was projecting in uh, on the side. That's very good.